important to at least be open to new technologies, including airships. Fighting food insecurity and access to remote communities of Canada with giant airships. It's a conversation that's been trying to get off the ground for years. And now a group of scholars and aviation experts say Canada is the perfect candidate to utilize this type of transport. Airships can help with mining operations, enhance Canadian security and sovereignty in the Arctic, and transport people, food, and materials to remote communities lacking year-round road access or airports. The airships have been flying continuously for the last hundred years. We just need to engineer and deploy them to carry freight and to, to survive in our cold weather conditions. Barry Prentice, president of Isopolar Airships, says Manitoba alone has 28 communities relying on winter roads that can only be maintained for a short season, which hinders economic development. Climate change is also making ice roads more unreliable each year. Resource development is also hindered in the 70% of Canada's land area that has no year-round heavy transport access. There's an absolute need. We have a, you know, a treasure chest of minerals in northern Canada that we just cannot get to because of transportation and, and other issues that are involved with that. And, and the airship provide a solution for, for that. Prentice says modern airships could reduce reliance on ice roads and carry upwards of 100 tonnes of cargo. We have a short shipping season in some communities that can be as narrow as one month. Madeline Redfern, COO at CanArctic Inuit Networks, wants to see feasibility studies around airships move forward to determine if they can withstand cold Arctic conditions while offering a cheaper solution to deliver construction materials and more importantly food to people in need. Eight out of ten Nunavut Inuit preschoolers are food insecure. Uh, the cost of flying up food is extremely expensive and even though we have a federal government program called Nutritious, Nutritious North that can help you know reduce the cost it's still really expensive. Redfern says airships offer a chance to transform Canada's Arctic regions in a way that's already being seen in other Arctic nations such as Greenland, Alaska and Russia. So Canada actually needs to step up and, and you know, make these strategic investments that can improve the lives of our, of our northerners and our indigenous uh, peoples, but it's also good for our nation and it actually turns out it's very good for our economy. Northwest Territories MLA Katrina Knockleby plans on bringing up airship transport with her cabinet colleagues the next time they meet. It does seem like one of the, the tools that we should be keeping in our, our toolbox for sure. As for Prentice, he says airships also offer a better return on investment than building gravel roads. To build gravel roads in the north is about uh, $3 million per kilometer. We can get a whole airship industry underway for about $500 million. Well, that would build you, what, 150 kilometers of road? I mean, that wouldn't take you very far north in any direction. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.